Hi mate, welcome to my channel. I feel as though it is my duty to make this video. There are people that have no idea about the struggle that we have experienced when playing this game. They are clueless to the suffering that is occurring to so many out there. Here, I have a couple of clips to show exactly what some of us are going through. From fucked audio to game breaking glitches, this game has many methods of tormenting the player. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Uh, uh, what happened? Uh, uh, what was that back there? Was, was that you? What, that, that was the force, wasn't it? Just forget what you saw, okay? Please no, trust me. I've seen, the, I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. Probably out on people I like know. you. I know. Yeah, where were you? We need to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. This next one has multiple problems. This bit, as you know, is at the end of the first mission, which I've actually seen a lot of other people online have problems with as well. This can't be good. Whoa! Here you can see the mantis comes to save you from falling off the edge. Just keep a mental note of that for a second. I'm skipping through now to the end of that mini boss fight with the second sister. First I'll show you what's meant to happen. Keeping that in mind, now I'll show you what happened on my first playthrough. Make it too easy. I fucking died. I was then respawned all the way over here for some reason, so I went back to the roof of the train, watched it get blown up again, slid down the train, and then just watched what happened after that. I repeated this about 6 times until eventually I just gave in and started a new game. And yes, if you're watching this and you have no idea how to get past this bug, you have to start a new game. Here's another out of sync cutscene just for good measure. Thanks for the help. But who are you people? My name is Sir Junda. And this is my captain, Priest Rytus. How are you doing? Yeah, the Manus is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So... Who were you? Cal. Kestis. Who was that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help me? We track Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Braca. So we made our move. Oh, yeah? Well, it's the bounty on Jedi these days anyway. That's gratitude for you. Right, I'm cutting in here to give you a warning. What you're about to see is the laggiest, most rage-inducing cutscene I've ever had the displeasure of sitting through. Watch at your own risk. I am Master Ino Cordova. I'm your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this Vault is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron, the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can follow my path and understand. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this drawer, you will find everything 
everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zepho homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Oh. Good luck, Jedi. And... I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. some uh, uh, friends of mine <laughs> I really want to enjoy this game I really really do I pre-ordered the game straight after it was announced and my excitement only grew from then on when the game was released yesterday I woke up at fucking 6 30 a.m. to play it and it ruined my day not because I'm not usually an early riser or anything like that but because the game is virtually unplayable as you've seen from this video, the game is plagued with disastrous cutscenes and stuttering issues, and the most alarming part about it all is that none of it's been fixed yet. I've been on Respawn's Twitter about 174 times since the game released yesterday, and there's not a single tweet showing any recognition that there's a problem at all. I really hope they fix this soon, because YouTube's full of cunts who put spoilers in their titles and thumbnail. Just this morning, I had the end of the game spoiled for me by looking through my YouTube recommendations. This game obviously has the potential to be incredible, and seeing that IGN has given it a 9 out of 10, it must be amazing when there are no performance issues. Let's just hope that all of this is eventually fixed, otherwise I can safely say that my £80 was wasted, and the 200 plus days spent waiting were for nothing. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Please feel free to comment your experience with the game so far, and if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing if you'd like. One like equals one prayer lads.